Welcome back fam, this is Chris with Food For Your Thoughts. I hope you've been enjoying your day so far. We're back continuing and finishing up our presentation series with these universal spiritual laws, the law of higher frequency, right? And you know, today is all about the spiritual law of grace. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that like, subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate you, right? And here it's all about self-discovery, knowledge of self, realizing, you know, how much we don't know is unlearning the bad programs, that BS, right? And relearning our own personal truth that works best for us, right? Especially when you use these spiritual laws and those seven hermetic principles, I promise you it's going to take you far. I put money on it, right? But the overall thing is... Our purpose and mission require learning a whole bunch of life lessons to gain that knowledge and experience for our soul's growth. And it's never too late to rewrite your story. The past, present, and future is happening right now. So what are you doing right now that can, you know, rewrite your past and also plant the seeds for your future, right? But as you grow through your own personal transformational process by being the cause in your life instead of waiting for the effect to happen, you can learn the seven hermetic principles daily, right? Testing things out. Learn about your name, which is your nature, your life path number, your natal chart, astroseat.com. They'll hook you up about your natal chart. And, be, you know, as you grow, right you're gonna share your knowledge and wisdom with people you're gonna teach them to trust their own intuition not things outside of them they need to believe in themselves trust their own intuition their own inner voice right their own energy and they know you know we all know by now that everything matters right because you know our thoughts belief words emotion and actions create our reality and our results you know we the commander of our own car right our own vehicle so with that being said, if you need help manifesting money, guys, please go back to my Spiritual Law of Prosperity presentation. All the cheat codes are right there. And also check the description area. Play that cash flow game for at least 90 days. Most people don't really know how money really works and what the, what what is money, right? And so as you learn more about money, it's going to put you on that frequency, right? Because what you focus on grows. I hope that makes sense. So as you you know learn more about money and focus about that fr frequency and, and you have a better understanding and over standing you're going you to attract opportunities to you all right but you have to be open to receive but all the cheat codes are there all right so as you get your moolah in be sure to drop a donation to the channel the link is in the description thank you all right but keep your money in check during this time guys but it's been a pleasure we're going to close this thing out with you know with the law of grace and lastly with the law of, law of the one so let's go ahead and get started key point and then i'm gonna give my takeaways and get you out of here all right, so when it comes to the law of grace, it's all about divine intervention, the law of grace, and the divine, when the divine plan takes place, that lets you know that your soul is awakening. So I'm here to remind you that everyone you meet is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. So, you know, as your energy frequency and vibration rise, you know, raises, you know, and rise up, right? Be kind, you know? You know what it be you know what it feels like to be in other people's shoes. You've been there, you know. When you hit rock bottom, you remember that, right? So, you know, as they go, you know, people growing through their own personal transformation and atonement process, you know, be kind always. So karma means that all action have consequences. We know that everything matters. So grace means that in the moment of atonement, right? What are you doing? You are taking responsibility, right, for your actions. You make amends to all the issues. You, you go to the people and let them know, like, man, I, I messed up, right? And then you ask for forgiveness. And at that moment, all karma is burned. Remember that. So forgiveness, this is one of my, my key takeaways here. So forgiveness does not create a relationship. I repeat, forgiveness does not create a relationship. One more time. Forgiveness does not create a relationship unless people speak the truth about what they have done to you. Could they hurt you? And in my personal experience, you know, throughout my life, people have been very racist towards me and people that look just like me without knowing the true history of the, you know, the organic and the original people of the planet. Without knowing, they've just been repeating everything they've been taught without investigating and researching. So I, this is how I felt, right? So unless people speak the truth about what they have done to you and change their mind and behavior, what's going to happen? A relationship of trust is not possible, guys. So you got to keep you got to kick them out the circle of trust. Right. All right. Because they don't know better. So they're not going to do better. So when you forgive someone, you certainly release them from the judgment. But without true change, you know, no real relationship can be established. So you got to let them go. Kick them out of the circle, man. All right. 
So they pretty much expose themselves for who they truly are, their core essence. All right. But, you know, I know everybody can rewrite their story. But like, again, a person is measured from their actions and deeds and their behavior. All right. So let's talk about karma clans, you know, uh, with this, you know, being grace. Right. When it comes to this karma cleanse, you got to be grateful. Right. Act with love. You know, check your motives, right? Are you coming from your heart chakra? Are you operating from your ego base, right? So also watch your attitude. Your attitude, you know, determines everything, right? So you can't, you know, be happy and sad at the same time frame. Always have that, that high vibration. Keep those high vibration people around you instead of those low vibration. And that's what I had to do along my journey, especially with the network marketing field, man. Woo! So, and also... You got to be able to forgive. And if the highest form of forgiveness is, is to forgive yourself for, for letting yourself get involved with that situation in the first place, right? And to be exposed around these individuals that didn't have a clue what they were saying and how they were treating you, okay? So it, it's not your fault. But when you know better, you're going to do better and you're not going to let these low vibrational beings into your space any longer, right? So let's get ready to lead on in. Karma said something to you, right? Karma said everything in your life is a reflection of a choice you have made i repeat karma said everything in your life is a reflection of a choice you have made so if you want a different results right if you want different results you got to make a different choice if you want different results you got to make a different choice if you want different results in your life you got to make a different choice you got to do different things right to get different results so as we lead in with grace guys and get you guys out of here grace grace now the exercise of love, kindness, compassion, mercy, favor, disposition to benefit or serve another, right? Are you showing, when the last time you showed grace? You know, is it part of your daily routine, right? If not, you need to add it to it, right? But as above in mind, so below here on the physical plane, as within, within your body, so without your physical reality, right? As the, so, as the universe, so the soul right so let's t let's tie all this stuff together reflection so again we all have the truth still with us but it's not found in books to any given extent has been you know passed along from lips to ear like we're doing right now when it was written down at all its meaning was veiled in terms of alchemy and astrology so only those possessing the keys could read all right that's from the three initials the cabalion and i'm just here to remind you of your own greatness you know this information right there's no such thing as new information all i'm doing is taking you know ancient information remixing it right put my my own little spin my little je ne sais quoi right i'm here to remind you of your greatness to unlock the, your own universe within you because what you are your own universe reflection so with anything we discuss right there's a good side not so good sides and things we can all we can always work on ourselves period so when it comes to grace grace is a divine disposition of mercy right it dissolves karma like we mentioned creates miracles and can change matter matter right our soul has accepted the opportunity to incarnate on this planet to really learn about you know and experience different emotions like i told you before right in a, a previous presentation and to you know what it feels like to be in a physical body because this is a vehicle this is an avatar guys all right so now that you know better you're gonna do better that's you know they make these movies for a reason okay so we also have free will in order to create our own life in a place where every thought word deed manifests i repeat we also have free will in order to create our own life in a place where every thought, word, deed manifests. We can invoke the universal spiritual law of grace to transmute our deeds, change emotional feelings, heal relationships, and the physical body. But we must be ready to receive it. Are you open to receive the grace that I'm showing and I'm giving to you? And, and to empower you to show grace towards others and yourself. Forgive yourself, right? So as we get ready to get out of here, right? So... What, what, what am I saying? Number one, we created all of our situation with our consciousness, right? And we have we must learn the lessons before we ask for grace. All right. We got to learn these lessons. You're going to live your life on repeat and not knowing why things are set up this way, you know, on purpose. So now that you know, each day is a test and it's a lesson for you to pass. 
all right you will approach life a whole different way now right so we can offer grace to others through what compassion mercy empathy forgiveness and unconditional love no condition unconditional right and when we when we open our heart to another we too as the person that's showing grace right showing you know high forgiveness we receive an inflow of divine love right and every time you open your heart with compassion the love emanating from you grant someone else's grace so a change in of attitude may take place or release of a deeply held fear or even a physical you know physical healing right but the more grace we offer guys the more we receive i hope that makes sense the give and take so this give and take goes deep all right giving is receiving i repeat giving is receiving because you all you doing is giving to yourself i repeat one more time the people that come into your reality that need assistance all right and you probably been ignoring the first person is yourself right because you know self-help starts with you right all right so show them grace and you know and giving is receiving so the more you give the more you receive not giving to the church these ties and offering and stuff like that and these you know these donation places you know you gotta don't you know give show grace to yourself or forgive yourself for not you know not really investigating things and leaving you know stones unturned so now you know your life has a meaning you have a life purpose you have a destiny to fulfill all right and you are one of the change agents you know especially if you listen to this presentation at this time okay so with that being said you know number two forgiveness is another divine quality that dissolves and transmutes negative blocks so it results in emotional attitudinal and physical healing taking place for both the giver and the receiver so grace allows healing to occur because the high frequency vibration of love transmute the lower vibrations of pain and fear all right number three we create karma with our attitudes believe it or not guys and all ill feelings and disputes you know basically are the karmic consequences of egotistical attitudes so when you are ready to be understand more understanding understanding overstanding and compassionate or are ready to forgive the angels your spiritual team the universe will lead you to someone or a situation that can help you release that karma okay so you can you know you know balance your sheet your scorecard as we get ready to close you know you know on your path your spiritual team work with grace constantly whispering to us you know to think or do or to say which will help us to dissolve these negative karma blockages okay they also help us to forgive you know ourselves first and dissolve the blockage of karma this karmic debt okay so are you listening are you paying attention to the signs and symbols from the universe and number five as we close the universal spiritual law of grace is the div divine mercy that pretty much set people free all right you know from all those you know roadblocks and setbacks but it's all about learning the lesson okay so one thing i do want to you know you know add as we get ready to close guys when it comes to the spiritual law of grace forgiveness does not create a relationship unless people speak the truth about what they have done to you you know spiritually mentally emotionally okay and i just use one one example in my experience change you know have done and, and they got to change their mind and behavior you know okay and a relationship of trust is not possible i repeat forgiveness is not it you know does not create a relationship unless people speak the truth about what they have done to you and change their mind and behavior a relationship of trust is not possible so when you forgive someone you certainly release them from judgment but without true change no real relationship can be established all right so make sure you you add this to your toolbox okay guys but these are my takeaways when it comes to really dealing with, with grace and you know sharing you know some of my stories along my journey you know throughout my career in the military and and you know testing out different things you know outside of my you know the retirement realm <laughs> so to speak but be sure to click that like subscribe button down below i greatly appreciate each and every one of you and we will conclude and finish off this fourth and final set with the law of one i hope you're ready guys and as always, our purpose and mission require learning a whole bunch of life lessons that gain experience and knowledge for our soul growth. It's never too late to rewrite your story. Do it to, do it now. Do it do it today, right? But as you grow, share your knowledge and wisdom with people. Don't don't leave them stuck on level two. Okay. And trust your own into your you know, trust your own intuition, your own inner voice, your own energy. And you know by now 
that your thoughts, believe, words, emotion, and action are always, always going to equal with your reality and your results, not your job. All right? Because you are speaking everything into existence. Remember. And keep your money in check. Go back to the spiritual law of prosperity. Get those cheat codes. Apply them. And, you know, as soon as you apply them and get your rewards, you know, be sure to donate to the channel. Okay? All right. All right. With that being said, guys, this is Chris. Until next time, we'll be back finishing up the series with the law of one. Until next time, stay grateful and focused. Enjoy your day. Peace.